Lesson 12.7, Metric Units of Mass and Liquid Volume. I hope you saw 12.6, which is linked in the description. We learned about metric mass and liquid volume in third grade. We did it in videos 10.7 and 10.8, which are linked in the description. We learned about grams, kilograms, and liters. We also learned about mass versus weight and what is the difference between mass and weight. We learned that the U.S. customary system says weight and that the metric system says mass. So here's some metric units of mass. We have a metric ton, a kilogram, a hectogram, a decagram, which has a couple of different abbreviations, a gram, which is the basic unit, a decigram, a centigram, and a milligram. And in this lesson, we're going to focus on kilograms and grams for mass. For metric units of liquid volume, we have a kiloliter, a hectoliter, a decaliter, and a liter, which is the basic unit. You can see it's abbreviated with a capital L. A deciliter, a centiliter, and a milliliter, which is abbreviated with an ML. And we're going to focus on liters and introduce milliliters. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And again, as we learned in third grade math, mass is the amount of matter in an object. And the gram is the basic unit for metric mass. So here we have a little table. It's showing kilograms, which is abbreviated with a kg, hectogram, decagram, which has a couple of different acceptable abbreviations, and the gram, which is abbreviated as the letter G. As we move towards the grams, we can see there is one, two, three powers of 10. One kilogram is three powers of 10 greater than one gram. And we learned in video 12.6 that we can write 10 to the third power. This little three is called an exponent. It tells us how many factors of 10 we have. So 10 to the third power would be 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Comparing kilograms and grams, we can use multiplication to convert, which means change kilograms to grams. For metric units of mass, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So if we have two kilograms, we have two one thousands. We have two times 1,000 grams, that's 2,000 grams. And if we had three kilograms, then we would have three one thousands, three times 1,000 grams. That would be 3,000 grams for 3 kilograms. And if we had 4 kilograms, that would be 4 1,000s. We'd have 4,000 grams. Because we need 1,000 grams to have 1 kilogram, 1 gram is 1 of 1,000 equal parts of a kilogram. 1 gram is 1 1,000th one of a kilogram. One gram can be written as a decimal as one thousandth of a kilogram. We have our ones place and our decimal point. Then we have our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths place. So we would write it as a zero, a decimal point, a zero, zero, and then a one. So a gram is much less than a kilogram. It's much smaller. The liter is the basic unit for metric liquid volume. We can see the difference between a liter and a milliliter. Here we have a liter, which is abbreviated with an L. We have a deciliter, a centiliter, and then here is the milliliter, abbreviated with an ML. We can see there's a power of 10, two powers of 10, three powers of 10. One liter is three powers of 10 greater than one milliliter. We have 10 to the third power, and again, that little three exponent tells us how many factors of 10 we need to multiply. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. 100 times 10 is equal to 1,000. So one liter 
is equal to 1,000 milliliters. To compare liters and milliliters, we can use multiplication to convert, change, liters to milliliters. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if we have two liters, we'd have two 1,000s. That would be two times 1,000 milliliters. It would equal 2,000 milliliters. If we had three liters, we'd have three 1,000s. We'd have 3,000 milliliters. And if we had four liters, we'd have four 1,000s, four times 1,000. That's 4,000 milliliters. Using multiplication, we can find any amount of milliliters in any amount of liters. If we had 99 liters, we'd have 99 1,000s. It would be 99,000 milliliters. Because we need 1,000 milliliters to have one liter, one milliliter is one of 1,000 equal parts of a liter. One milliliter is one one-thousandth of a liter. As a decimal, we can write it as a zero, decimal point, zero, zero, one, because that's the thousandths place. A milliliter is much less than a liter. We can look at this chart and see an eyedropper full of liquid be, would be about one milliliter. And this bottle would be about a liter. So we can see how much smaller a milliliter would be than a liter. And picture A has one, two, three, four, five liters. And picture B has three liters of liquid. Picture A contains five liters of liquid. It contains blank milliliters of liquid. So remember, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if we have five liters, we have five 1,000s. That means it contains five times 1,000 milliliters. It contains 5,000 milliliters of liquid. Pitcher B contains three liters of liquid. And if one is equal to 1,000 milliliters, and we have three of them, we have three times 1,000. Pitcher B contains 3,000 milliliters of liquid. We need to compare using the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to. We need to compare two kilograms to 200 grams. We have two of them. We have two times 1,000. Two kilograms is equal to 2,000 grams which means we're comparing 2,000 grams to 200 grams. Well, 2,000 grams is much greater. It's greater than 200 grams. That means two kilograms is greater than 200 grams. Here we have six liters compared to 6,000 milliliters. Well, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So if we have six of them, we have six times 1,000. So we're comparing 6,000 milliliters to 6,000 milliliters. Well, they're equal to each other. That means 6 liters is equal to 6,000 milliliters. Here we have 4,000 grams and 40 kilograms. We need to convert the kilograms to the smaller units. And we have 40 of them. If 1 is equal to 1,000 grams and we have 40 of them, we have 40 times 1,000. That means we're comparing 4,000 grams to 40,000 grams. 4,000 grams is much less than 40,000 grams. That means 4,000 grams is less than 40 kilograms. It's easy to compare the amounts when we convert the larger units into smaller units so that we're comparing grams to grams or milliliters to milliliters. The bucket contains eight liters of liquid and the bottle contains two liters of liquid. How many more milliliters are in the bucket than the bottle? So we think we need to compare eight liters to two liters, but the difference needs to be in milliliters. 
And we can solve this in two different ways. We can solve it by converting 8 liters and 2 liters into milliliters, and then using subtraction. There's 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter, so we could do 8 times 1,000, which is 8,000 milliliters. Then we could do 2 times 1,000, which is 2,000 milliliters, and we can see it's 6,000 milliliters difference. But we would have to convert two values. We'd have to convert this to milliliters, and then this to milliliters, and then do subtraction. The easier way would be to subtract first. 8 liters minus 2 liters is 6 liters. Now we convert 6 liters times 1,000. That would be 6,000 milliliters. If we did it this way, we have to convert two values. But if we subtract first, then we only need to convert once. It's easier and quicker. There's usually more than one way to solve a problem, but one might be easier. Make sure to compare like units. Compare milliliters to milliliters or grams to grams. This means we may need to convert, change, the larger units into smaller units first. Mrs. Kim bought 800 grams of nutmeg and 3 kilograms of cinnamon for her bakery. How many grams of spices did she buy? So think, we need to total 800 grams and 3 kilograms for a sum in grams. We have two different measures. So we need to convert kilograms to grams first, then use addition. We know one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, so if she has three of them, we have three 1,000s. We have 3,000 grams of cinnamon. Now we can add the like measures, grams and grams. We have 3,800 grams of spices. So to understand one kilogram and one gram, a box of 1,000 paper clips is about one kilogram. It's not exact, but it's about one kilogram. And that's abbreviated with a kg. One paper clip is about one gram. That's abbreviated with the letter G. So you can see how much more one kilogram is than one gram. I'm sorry the video is so dark. It's kind of stormy outside and I don't have very good lighting in here. If I turn a light on, it'll reflect off the board and you won't be able to see anything. So remember when you're doing this, you want to convert the measures so you're comparing milliliters to milliliters or grams to grams, and it's best to convert to the smaller units. In our next lesson, 12.8, we're going to compare units of times like days to weeks or seconds, minutes, hours. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.